Dr. Gary Garcia, Keystone Equine Associates in Odessa, Florida, outside of Tampa. Uh, we're going to just talk briefly about uh, horse diseases that cross over to the human side. I think uh, the first one that comes to mind with most people is rabies. Ra uh, rabies is uh, a zoonosis, a zoonosis meaning that um, it's an animal disease that does move over to the human side and cause uh, disease there. Um, Rabies is a rhabdovirus, and a rhabdovirus uh, affects mainly nervous tissue, and that why, that's why uh, most of the clinical signs are neurologic. And what you see with, in, a, in a horse is you see ataxia, which is uh, uneasy uh, stumbling and, and, uh, and, uh, and inability to stand and bear weight on their limbs. Uh, you see dysphagia, which is the inability to swallow, which causes that salivation, which uh, is classic. You see self-mutilation, meaning that they chew on themselves and they, they, they have uh, nervous uh, signs that make them want to chew on their, on their own skin. And sometimes you do see fever as well with that. Um, most horses die within about four or five days, and they usually die from respiratory arrest or cardiac arrest. When it comes onto the human side, it's from uh, us humans handling the horse, either looking in their mouth or or uh, touching a wound on the horse, and that horse is uh, viremic or shedding virus at that time. And we either have cuts on our hand or we get exposure through the saliva or through the blood. There's still question as to, as to how transmissible that actually is to humans, but um, what's, what's important is that if you do have a horse with clinical signs of rabies and these horses are unvaccinated, um, those horses need to uh, be quarantined and or destroyed and um, the brain tissue needs to be uh, analyzed for uh, rabies so as to protect the, uh, uh, us humans. So the key is to vaccinate your horse. The vaccine is yearly and uh, protects your horse uh, from these devastating signs of rabies. And, um, and if you do have a, you know, is a reportable disease to the health department and anyone who is in contact with the horse should be uh, should be uh, noted to the health department. Again, this is Dr. Gary Garcia of Keystone Equine Associates in Odessa, Florida. We urge you to contact your local equine veterinarian for further information and questions, or you can log on to our website at keystoneequine.com. Thank you.